What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, there's an epidemic happening on our streets that we need to discuss. There are fitness influencers, mostly on Instagram, but you can find them anywhere. They're sharing their meals, they're showing people how they're getting lean, building muscle, and 99% of the time, you could bet the farm on it consisting of about three things. First one being chicken, second one being rice, maybe some potato if they're a free thinker, and the third one, broccoli, darn broccoli. And what this is doing is perpetuating the myth that you have to eat these specific foods in order to see results, in order to be lean, in order to build muscle. And I just want to make a promise to you guys right now. We are going to slowly change that mindset one video at a time, one anabolic recipe at a time, and one poodle on the second step at a time. He still ain't allowed upstairs. In today's video, we're going to be making a Dairy Queen classic. When I was but a wee lad, Dairy Queen was about all we had in the small town I lived in. It was what we considered the nice fast food restaurant, the fancy one. My meal almost always consisted of that chicken finger basket that we really only got for the gravy. Right, boys? Right. But after that was done, we didn't have the strength or the know-how to avoid that blizzard. Thick ice cream with your candy of choice thrown right in, boy. It might have kept you from dating in high school and taking your shirt off at the pool, but boy, for that at three minutes, you were able to eat it. It was worth it. But today, I'm gonna show you how to have your ice cream and your abs at the same time. With this recipe, we're gonna be making an anabolic brownie batter blizzard. Thick and creamy chocolate flavor loaded with little tiny pieces of brownie. The ice cream itself is amazing. You can eat it just like that, but when you get that magical bite with the brownie piece in there, it feels like winning $5 on a $1 scratch off. Not only is this simple, delicious, anabolic, but I I promise if you've been having ice cream cravings lately and you're having trouble giving that part of your diet up, look no further than this recipe, man. I promise you won't be disappointed. I guarantee it. As always, man, if you have the RJF recipe book, link in description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there. Every other one of my ice cream recipes is in there. We got the Oreo McFlurry, the peanut butter cup blizzard, and some other stuff you haven't even seen on the channel. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. It's a handy little guide right in your pocket. Shopping list, ingredients, the measurements, what to weigh out, step-by-step -step instructions. If you're serious about making a lifestyle change, this could be the best investment you ever made. But don't take my word for it, man. Give it a try yourself for a week, and I'm telling you, man, it'll pay off. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! For this recipe, not only are you gonna need a powerful blender, you're gonna need a big one because it blows up so much. Loss of volume. I personally use a Ninja blender. This thing is probably the best investment I ever made for this kitchen. Link in description if you wanna see the exact model I got. It's about 100 bucks worth every penny. So to make sure we're on point with the ingredients, I got a food scale here. I'm just gonna sit the blender basket right on top. We're gonna start with our liquid base. Ingredient number one, 65 grams of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I always preach it, man. Even if you ain't tracking, you're not counting calories or macros, man. One of the easiest changes you can make to your diet, to that unsweetened almond milk, baby. And for once, we're actually not using Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. This is a brownie batter blizzard, so we need chocolate whey. I'm using Optum Nutrition Gold Standard, and we need about 47 grams or a scoop and a half. Next up, we're gonna throw in 85 grams plain fat-free Greek yogurt. I'm a fan of this with these recipes because it really makes it thicker as to that consistency, man. It's gonna feel like ice cream when it hits that tongue. Now we're just gonna add 50 grams of sugar-free chocolate syrup to this. This is gonna take that chocolate flavor we're already getting from the protein and amplify it, buddy. It's gonna bring it up to a 10. Now we need 140 grams of frozen strawberries. It's gonna add some natural sugar, some fiber, a ton of flavor, and you're actually gonna get your fruit in for a change, man. Might just help your blood pressure. Now we just need eight grams of PB Fit powder. You're really not gonna be able to taste the peanut butter, but it's gonna help add some protein, some more fiber, and overall just help give it that consistency we want. And arguably the most important ingredient you're gonna need for this recipe. Without this, you lose a lot of the magic, a lot of the expanding property. Is xanthan gum. We're gonna need about three grams of this. So we're gonna measure it out and put it right down in here. I'm also gonna toss in a few grams of zero calorie sweetener. This is optional, because this will already be really sweet, but I don't know about you guys. But I like my recipes to have some bite to them. And then finally, we're gonna throw in about that much ice. Now what we do, attach it to the base and blend it on high for about three to four minutes. You'll notice because it's gonna get way bigger, way taller, and more handsome. So we're gonna let this blend and we'll check in on it here in a second. Let's go. Thank you. 
Now after a few minutes, everything came together. Look how high she got, bud. This is volume eating 101. And what we're gonna do to get our brownie chunks is use a fiber one brownie bar. Around 70 calories a piece, loaded with fiber. They taste incredible. And they're easy to break up by hand. Watch. We'll just open up our fiber one bar. Look, it's already kind of happening. We'll just make little tiny pieces and put it down in this tiny little bowl here. Now what I'm gonna do is slowly spoon our ice cream into this cup. Then I'm gonna add a layer of our brownie bites. Just flick them down in there and then rinse, repeat. Add more ice cream, add more brownie bites. And I'll just continue repeating these steps until this thing's filled up. And once our cup is filled, we just sprinkle the rest of our brownies right on top. It's half the battle of making a good recipe is making sure you nailed the visual aesthetic. And boom, I present to you the anabolic brownie batter blizzard. Normally I tell you how good it smells, but it's not really a smell coming off of it. If I get in real, I, mean, I can smell some brownie. But I know what we put in here. I know it's gonna be good. I know after I eat it, I'm gonna be stuffed. We've been staring at it long enough, guys. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. Before we dive into this, I need a little uh, pick-me-up, bud. Final Boss pre-workout, we're just gonna take half a scoop. Rambo Supernova tastes like sour candy. Mm. Ah, chew it like a man. Available at FinalBossPerformance.com, Amazon.com, free new shipping, code RGF10, 10%. And Final Boss Athletics uh, merch is now in stock. My shirts came yesterday. I don't got one yet. I get them tomorrow. So next video, I'll be rocking one of my own. All right, man, let's dive right into this. Look at that brownie layer up top, bud. Just look how big that cut. Is that big my head? I got a big head. That's about as big as my head. All right, let's get in here, get a nice little bite right off the, ooh. She gonna be a good one. Three, two, one, let go. Nom, nom, nom. I mean, the ice cream's good by itself, but the addition of the brownie bites, man, that's what uh, really takes the cake. Oh, hmm. And the thing about these recipes, man, if you've been making these, you've been following these blizzards, these McFlurries, you know what the goal of this recipe is. Not only is this gonna crush like your sweet tooth, right? You're craving something really sweet, but it's gonna fill you up, which is the key, man. When you're dieting and uh, you're hungry at night, late night when them cravings kick in, instead of ordering the pizza, go a ham, make one of these, man. It's anabolic, you're getting protein in, you're getting fiber, there's so much volume, you're gonna be stuff. So even if you wanted to eat more after it, you're not gonna. Hmm. You get that rich chocolate flavor. You get that brownie. You get some fruit. We never have fruit on this channel. We're getting fruit. I'd pat myself on the back if my hands weren't full. Hum. Little pieces of treasure to find. I feel like a spelunker. Hum. We got one. We got one. So if you made it to here, smash thumbs up button for me, man. It means the world. It helps the channel out more than you know. Let's people see the videos and it motivates me to keep making recipes, man. Keep trying things in these kitchen to give you guys a Batman utility belt full of recipes. They're going to help you stay on track, stay anabolic, stay building muscle. Because that's the goal, ultimately, man. We all just want to look good on the beach. That way, when the shark swims up and sees us with our shirt off, he realizes our genetics need to be passed on. He's going to spare us. And he's going to go after the guy on the inner tube with the hairy back. That dude's a goner. Us, we've been eating blizzards, but we're good. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did, every single ingredient, everything, you end up with 454 calories, only six grams of fat, 51 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fiber. So you compare this big guy to a pint of Ben and Jerry's between 1200 to 1400 calories, almost no protein, lots of sugar, lots of fat. It's not doing you any good, man, but you're gonna eat this, you're gonna be fuller, you're gonna be less likely to jump to the next thing, and you're gonna stay on track, man. If you watch my video, the five ways to burn even more fat, you learned that protein Protein is the most thermogenic of the macronutrients. For your body to break down and utilize protein for energy, it burns off about 20 to 35% of those calories. So the more protein you eat in general, not only are you promoting muscle growth, not only are you promoting a leaner physique, but you're technically eating less calories. And if eating more protein means I get to eat more, then I'm here for it, bud. I never left. Hum. I got a brownie piece in that one. Keep in mind, these recipes are highly customizable. So if you want less fruit, you want more PB fit powder, you want more protein in it, you want a little more Greek yogurt, you can alter all this stuff around, man. That's why I always preach my cookbook because I think it gives you the base layer for a lot of recipes. You can try the recipe as I lay it out, which is how I eat, how I love to do it, the macros I like, but feel free to make some tweaks, man. Drop the brownie and throw in Count Chocula. You haven't heard that name in a while, have you? World's your oyster, man. As long as you get your calories and your protein intake, you can't lose, man. There's only two things you need to worry about. And if if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that already. 
Hmm. I got a brownie piece. And as always, if you have the RJF recipe book, it's been updated once again. Link in description. Go get your updated copy. Or if you've been watching the videos and you'd like to have a handy little guide right in your pocket, that way you're not pulling up the video in the middle of Walmart trying to get service. It's not working. You're frustrated. The baby's crying in the crib. Guy walks by you with no mask on. Now you're about to fight. You get out of the parking lot. Someone broke into your car, stole everything you own. You're going to have to spend the night on the street because even the seats are gone in your car. You try to call the police, but they're too busy defending the business owners on Main Street. If you don't want that to happen, just go ahead and get a copy, man. It's going to save you a lot of hassle in the long run. It might, it might just be the best investment you ever made, man. You get it one time. You get every future recipe for free. Avoid those situations and uh, give this a shot. And if all this sounds confusing and you're like, well, Rem, how much protein do I need? How many calories? How should I structure my meals? Well, bud, I can lay it all out for you. Check out my site, remychasefitness.com. I can make you a meal plan. I can include this if you want it. I'll include French toast, pizza, popcorn, whatever, man. We'll make it easy. We'll make it enjoyable. All that I ask is that uh, you show up ready to put some work in. If you come at me with any type of goofy energy, I would rather you just not even reach out. So I'm only interested in working with people that uh, want to be better, people that have an open mind, people willing to put the work in. If you're someone that gives up super easy, and uh, I'm not your man, but uh, V Shred will help you out. Heard he's good at that. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash the thumbs up button for me. It means the world, helps the channel, does more than you guys even know. That one little thing, man, we get quite a few views on these videos, and if we could even get 10% of the people to hit that thumbs up button, we'd be doing way better. So if it's not something you do right now, and uh, you want to help me out, you want to help this channel out, I mean, your view helps, but if you want to take a, a further step, if you're gaining knowledge and you're making progress because of these recipes, man, that thumbs up button means the world. If you just come right in, smash it, because you know the video is going to be good. It ain't going to be bad. Do that, then watch the video. I mean, heck, man, it means the world to me. Seriously. Comment anything down below. There's an ice cream you want me to make, a recipe you want to see, anything. Comment anything. Make it emojis. Make it a pickle. The higher that number gets, once again, it helps the algorithms. The more engagement they see, the more it pushes these out to other people. So I don't mean to beg here at the end of the video, because I'm not begging, but I am asking kindly. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. It's getting easier. Brownie batter.